The rumors of Bailey's return are starting to heat up, so we'll see what the latest is there. We'll also see what Alexa Bliss is speaking out on, what WWE edited out of Ronda Rousey's segment, and more. Let's start things off with Bailey's return. Bailey went down in the middle of a SmackDown Women's Championship feud with Bianca Belair last summer, and it was a major tragedy that no one saw coming. Bailey and Bianca Belair were set to meet at Money in the Bank 2021. It would have also been Bailey's first match back in front of the fans since she didn't compete at WrestleMania 37, but the injury obviously prevented that from happening. WWE immediately reported that Bailey would miss at least nine months of action with his torn ACL. Well, with the beginning of April being right around the corner, we're officially entering month nine of Bailey's recovery, and speculation about her WWE return is beginning to run wild. There's no confirmation about Bailey's return from WWE or herself, and there never will be any because it'll most likely be a surprise return. So everything is going to be completely silent until she just appears one of these weeks. Bailey was last part of SmackDown, but remember, since there was a draft that Bailey missed, she's technically a free agent, so no brand truly owns her right now. Which is another great element because it really makes everyone guess even harder about Bailey's return because she can return to either Raw or SmackDown at any time during the post WrestleMania season. So let's go over some possible targets for Bailey coming off this big return. First one being Sasha Banks on SmackDown. Everyone agrees that Sasha Banks and Bailey's storyline during the pandemic era was one of the greatest and most consistent storylines during the time frame. We saw a lot of storylines come and go during the pandemic era for WWE, but it was Sasha and Bailey's story that really stuck and connected with fans. The story and feud was everything everyone expected it to be. Little to no complaints about how that story ended. We got a big payoff of Sasha Banks being the one to dethrone Bailey as champion after spending so many months helping her defend the title, and it was great. The only issue with the story would be that there weren't many fans in the building for these matches. The last time Sasha Banks and Bailey went one on one in a sold out major arena on a WWE PPV was NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2015, a historic match that WWE instantly labeled as one of the top 100 matches of all time. That Brooklyn match was something special and something that the fans have been waiting to see again ever since. And we saw a handful of amazing matches between Sasha Banks and Bailey in late 2020. But again, there were no fans present. So even though we saw an entire feud between them in 2020, there's still a void there. Everyone definitely wants to see another Sasha and Bailey match with the fans now being back in full capacity. So that's one direction for Bailey. The other direction being the woman that she was supposed to face before getting hurt, Bianca Belair. If Bianca is Raw Women's Champion after WrestleMania, it would be a nice surprise to see Bailey return to Raw and make her case to have a title match against Bianca Belair, since that was the title match she was supposed to have almost a year ago. So you can argue that Bailey has a case for Bianca Belair. Like we always talk about, it is weird when a returning superstar cuts the line and instantly declares themselves as number one contender for a title without doing anything. But in this specific case, Bailey at least has good reasoning for cutting the line. She was supposed to have that title match with Bianca Belair before she got hurt, and this return to Raw would allow her to get that match right back. If Bailey returns to SmackDown, she can also feud with Ronda Rousey. But if Ronda is going to be the new champion after WrestleMania, Bailey may just end up losing that feud. So maybe that's not what you want to do with the returning Bailey. But either way, no matter the opponent or brand, fans will be excited for Bailey's return. It'll also be exciting to see what her character is like. Bailey has been tweeting and responding to everyone as a heel, so maybe that's a sign that she'll have that heel persona. So we'll have to see what ends up happening there. In other news, a fan recently tweeted a part of an article to Alexa Bliss and wanted to hear Alexa's side of things. The report the fans sent to Alexa was making all the claims about there being tension between Alexa Bliss and Ronda Rousey for the multiple concussions and injuries that Alexa suffered at the hands of Ronda in late 2018, and all these other bogus claims of how there was some sort of group chat that confirmed this. 
Well, Alexa Bliss directly replied to the fan and the clip of that report and had this to say in response, quote, This is quite comical and not true. I'm only in one group chat and it's with my bridal party. Keep trying, trolls, end quote. That late 2018, early 2019 timeframe was a really scary time in Alexa Bliss's career. There were lots of rumors that Alexa was about to be put on the shelf for good after suffering consecutive concussions, but she was able to bounce back with a full WWE return and there's no hard feelings there at all, according to Alexa Bliss. Speaking of Ronda Rousey, she and Charlotte Flair went back and forth with a little promo segment on SmackDown recently. As a lot of fans noticed, Ronda had a small slip-up during her promo that would later get edited out. Ronda said that she will become the new SmackDown champion, leaving the word women's out of the title name. She then attempted to correct the small mistake by questioning why they even have to say women in any way. It would appear that WWE wasn't a fan of that mistake or the attempt to cover it up, because that entire part has been edited out of all the highlight clips and recaps. There's a portion of fans out there that have been disappointed with the buildup of Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair. Ronda's return was a massive return of star power for WWE, no doubt about it. But some fans just claim that they don't feel that invested in this specific story. They say Becky and Bianca have a much deeper storyline. Some fans are even heavily invested in the women's tag team match because everyone wants to see Sasha Banks get her first WrestleMania victory. But hopefully Charlotte and Ronda take what those fans are saying and use it as extra motivation to make the fans care about it during their match at WrestleMania. It's WrestleMania, you'll have everyone's attention. That would be your spot to turn things around and try to steal the show, steal the entire weekend. Another issue that fans have brought up is this title reign for Charlotte altogether because it's been uneventful from a booking perspective. Before WrestleMania 38, the SmackDown women's title was last defended on pay-per-view during October 2021 at Crown Jewel, and the title wasn't even defended by Charlotte, it was defended by Becky. Charlotte would go on to defend her title once again against Tony Storm on SmackDown, and once against Naomi on SmackDown. So, only two title defenses in nearly six months is pretty ridiculous. No matter who wins at WrestleMania, Charlotte or Ronda, let's just hope the SmackDown women's title starts to get defended on a more regular basis again. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.